Good afternoon, welcome to HUD News. I'm Haley O'Farrell and these are the top stories this lunchtime. There is a meeting tomorrow to decide what to do with the remains of Newson Mill. Owners Panorama Living Limited applied for listed building consent to demolish the ground floor. However, members of the Newson Mill campaign are urging residents to oppose the demolition. The campaigners will showcase their new ideas for the building tomorrow at 10 a.m. The meeting will take place at the Newsom Scout Hut on Newsom Road there's South. Accommodation. If there's um, homes there, um, I'm happy if people live on the site. I just want to make sure it's incorporated with what remains in terms of uh, uh, in, in terms of the existing walls. Now. Northern Rail passengers face disruption this month after staff voted to strike over plans to axe guards from trains. Jack Hawthorne reports. The RMT Trade Union Group has voted in favour of 83% to hold a strike on the 13th of March as the train company introduces job losses to train guards, but fears are growing that this may decrease passenger safety. It is said that the RMT had recently made agreements with Transpennine Express, but Northern was pressing ahead with a driver-only operation and no train guards. Northern Rail services that will be disrupted include Huddersfield's links to Sheffield, Wakefield and Leeds. This is Jack Hawthorn, reporting for Hood News. Thank you, Jack. Famous faces from the literary world will be arriving in Huddersfield over the next fortnight. The event will kickstart the 15 days of events and showcases, which will include guests like BBC Radio 4 presenter Dame Jenny Murray, crime author Ian Rankin, and comedian Henry Normal, who was behind hit TV series Gavin and Stacey. Festival director Michelle Hodgson spoke to us about what she's excited for. Well, I'm very much looking forward to Polari Up North, which is our LGBT event that we hold every year because we have uh, four or five different performers for that and it's always really, really fun night. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Henry Normal as well. I think that'll be a good one. And we have a comedy night on, on Saturday at Storths Hall, so I think that'll be a good one uh, with James Brown and uh, Kate Fox. I always hate picking out one thing over another, but uh, looking forward to all of it. The Yorkshire Brass Band Championships take place this weekend at Huddersfield Town Hall. The reward for the winners is the opportunity to represent Yorkshire at the National Brass Band Championships of Great Britain. Town Hall's events manager, Richard Batterby, explains more. There are over 60 bands taking part. Um, they're all in different divisions, similar to uh, football teams. So there's sections one to four, and then you then have a, the, with all the big hitters like Black Dyke Band, um, Brigant and Rastrick, they're in the championship section. Um, it's a really busy weekend. We're expecting several thousand here through the doors, and we're already sold out of the uh, championship section on Sunday afternoon. Sport now, and in football, Huddersfield Town are set to play Newcastle United in the championship tomorrow. The team are hopeful for a win at home as they sit eight points behind leaders Newcastle with a game in hand. The last time the two sides met, Town came away with a 2-1 victory. David Wagner will have Jonathan Hogg, Naki Wells and Ari Moy back to play while the visitors could welcome Championship top scorer Dwight Gale back from injury. That's all the latest headlines this lunchtime. We will be back at half three. Goodbye.